next topic for F2 is overheads and absorption costing. Now, what we are focusing, what we are trying to do here is calculate the full production cost per unit. The full production cost per unit will be made up of our direct costs per unit. We don't have a problem with these. With our direct costs, by definition, we are easily able to link those costs back to the production of one unit. So we can allocate those costs to the cost unit. The problem we have is with our indirect costs. With our indirect costs, so our indirect production costs, like our factory overheads, including rent, power costs, phone bills, insurance costs, our indirect labor costs at the factory, and so on, we don't know what the cost per unit is. So we have to go through a four-step process in order to estimate the overhead cost per unit. Now our four steps include, the first, allocate our indirect costs to the relevant cost center where possible. Second step, we apportion the remaining costs across our factory cost centers in some fair way. The third step then, remember reapportionment, where we have to move costs out of the service cost centers and into the production cost centers. Now, after the first three steps then, all of our indirect production costs will be sitting in our production cost centers. And once we get to that point, we can calculate our overhead absorption rate. Now, the other thing or technique you need to be able to apply for this section is to be able to calculate any under or over absorption we might have at the end of the period. Realistically, an exam question is likely to focus on mostly reapportionment and under or over absorption. You may get questions on apportionment or just calculating overhead absorption rates, but that's perhaps a little bit less likely. So, we're asked in our first question, by how much was the total overhead under or over absorbed for the period? Now, immediately in your mind, you should be thinking about the pro forma you have for calculating under or over absorption. How do we do that? The first thing we look at is our overhead absorbed. This will be our actual activity. multiply by our overhead absorption rate. Then we compare that to our actual overhead cost for the period. The difference between the two is our under or over absorption. So once you know the pro forma, we are just looking for the information for this pro forma in the question. So having a look-see, we're told a company uses an overhead absorption rate of $3.50 per hour. So we need that. And it's per machine hour, based on 32,000 budgeted machine hours for the period. During the same period, the actual total overhead expenditure, so that's our actual overhead cost, was 108875 
and 30,000 machine hours were recorded on actual production. So that was our actual activity. So just filling the numbers in to our pro forma, our actual activity, 30,000 machine hours, multiply by our OAR of 350, gives us 105,000. Our actual overhead cost, 108,875. So the difference between the two, 3,875, is our under or over absorption. But which is it? Well, the rule here is that if our overhead absorbed is less than our actual overhead, then we have under absorbed. And why? Well, because if our overhead absorbed is 105,000 and our actual overhead was 108,875, then this means we have undercharged our production account. We have not recorded enough overhead cost in that production account, so we have underabsorbed. Now, if the reverse is true, if our overhead absorbed is greater than our actual overhead, then we have overcharged our production account, so we would have overabsorbed. In this case, though, we've underabsorbed by 3875. So the correct answer then is A. Our second question that we're going to look at in this area then is going to be everyone's favorite step, reapportionment. So we're asked, after the reapportionment of service cost centers has been carried out, what is the total overhead for production cost center P? Now these reapportionment questions can be quite long. So unless you've practiced quite a few of these questions and you're able to work through them very quickly, a question like this is perhaps one you might skip over in the exam and come back to it at the end if you have time. We're told anyway, a factory consists of two production cost centers, P and Q, and two service cost centers, X and Y. The total allocated and apportioned overhead for each is as follows. And we have P, Q, X, and Y. Well, first of all, we're not remotely interested in production cost center Q. Why? Because the question has asked us, after reapportionment, what are the total costs for P? So we're not going to waste time doing any of the calculations for production cost center Q. So we've been given then the percentage time that each service cost center spends in each of the other cost centers. So this is the information we need then to do our reapportionment. So remember, we have to take the costs from each service cost center out of that cost center and move it in to the other departments based on these percentages. Now, if we have a look, we can see that percentage of service cost center X spent in each of these departments. Cost center X spends 50% in P, 50% in Q. Percentage of service cost center Y is 30, 60, and 10. So Y uses 10% of its time doing work for service cost center X. Now, when you have a situation like this, where one of the service cost centers uses the time of the other service cost center, then we will always begin our reapportionment by looking at the service cost center, which does not use any of the time of the other service cost center. So in this case, we're going to reapportion service cost center Y first of all. Then, after that, we'll reapportion service cost center X. 
Doing the calculations then. So remember, we're only looking at departments P, X and Y because we don't care about Q. At the moment, there's 95,000 in P, 46,000 in X, 30,000 in Y. We've said we're going to reapportion department Y first of all. So when we reapportion Y, if we check our percentages. So P uses 30% of Y's time and X uses 10% of Y's time. So we'll give 30% of the cost to P. 30% of 30,000 gives us 9,000. And 10% to Department X gives us 3,000. Now, in Department X, we now have 49,000. So when we go to reapportion Department X, it's the 49,000 that we divide out across the other cost centers. We've done our reapportionment for Y. So now if we reapportion X, if we have a look at our percentages, what percentage of X does Department P use? 50%. So we'll give P 50% of the 49,000. So 50% of 49,000, 24,500. So the total costs then for Department P, the original 95,000 plus 9,000 from Y plus 24,500 from X. That gives us 128,500. So if we have a quick check back, we can see then that the correct answer is D.